It's a Saturday morning, mid-July. I'm back up on the South Downs near Oslebury. Going to continue along the Allen King's Way for a few miles to Chesford Head before looping back to this point and where the way leaves the lane is called Featherbed Lane. It's a very warm morning. It's before nine o'clock still and it's already nearly 20 degrees. Currently the walk is very pleasant along a shaded lane. Something's coming. Something's coming behind. A beast. A lady riding a beast. Now up on the downs proper. Now at the Oak Close Plantation. Up on Longwood Warren. Sound of the crickets. The lark. And the aeroplane, of course. It's a hazy day. Getting very hot now. Still only 9.30. Looking south to Oslebury over to the southwest Twyford area over towards Winchester and otherwise the open downs and leaving behind the view to the south on a clear day all the way to the south coast here and at the 272 at Chesford Head and great views to the north looking down to Mattersley Bowl famous for the D-Day preparations and now more recently site for festivals. Good to be in the shade again under the trees of the Great Clump. So for this section the King's Way joins the South Downs Way and now I'm looking east to Temple Valley. At Keeper's Cottage Cows in Temple Valley looking back up to the Great Clump. I think that must be where they drive those tanks around. Views to the north. I'm at Rodfield Lane, which is where I leave the King's Way today, which goes that way towards Titchbourne. I'm headed north back along the lane, back down into the woods. 
and the lane in about two miles leads to Hovington. Coming up to 11 o'clock now, getting very, very hot. Now back south of the 272, looking towards Warren Farm. Looking back to the Great Clump at Chesford Head, which is a very well known landmark in this western end of the National Park. Looking west to where I walked earlier and looking forward to being back in the woods. Warren Farm Cottages. Pheasant rearing at Piddles Plantation. Proceeding along Stubb Lane. Now at Longwood House. Interesting archway into the grounds. The Lodge House. Now in the perfect place for today. Deep in the Roaded endrums, hardly any light getting through. And finishing today's walk back on the lane through the woods.